Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will start working with Jira. We will sign up and create an account and then log into Jira. Whenever you have any questions, you can let me know. So let's get started with the demo. Step number one is we will go to the Jira website. So I'm on Google. I will search for Jira and here is Jira by Atlassian. I'll go here and here you can see we can we have all these options. You can give your working email and then click on sign up or you can also use Google or Microsoft to sign up. So here you can use any of these processes. So if I say Raghav, I can give any email and click on sign up. And here it will ask you for a code that is sent to your email. So you can check your email and get the code and add it here. So I will add my code and it will verify and then you can give your full name. You can also create a password for you and continue. So this will take you to your Jira account, it is also asking you what site name do you want to give to your Atlassian site. So let me say I'll use this and continue. So you can also be having your Jira account already set by your company and you will directly get a link and your credentials to log in. So whatever is the option, whatever is the uh, way you can log into Jira whether you already have an account or you are using a company managed Jira and you have your got your link and credentials. You just have to use that and log into Jira. So here you can see when I go here, it asks what kind of work do you do? Software development, marketing, project management. So we have all different types of options here. I'll just go with software development now. And here is how does your team plan to use Jira? So maybe track bugs and then prioritize work manage tasks you can choose up to three options and i will continue and here it is setting up and will take me to my jira account so we have done step number one and step number two and we have already signed up and logged in to our jira account so it is coming up and here you can see we have all these options so here it is saying your first project is ready to kick off so here we create projects where we can create tasks issues and then we can collaborate and communicate with the team so for now i will say here i will give some name my first project and here it is asking how familiar are you with jira i will say not familiar for now and say get started so here you can see we get some quick start options and resources. So creating a project, creating issues, starting with basics. So here you can see we have uh, all these documentation and videos. So this quick start you can dismiss and whenever you want, you can open it from your name icon here. So you can go here and then here you will find the open quick start option. So this is our jira account and here you can see at the top you will see this navigation where you can see all these options different menu items dashboards projects filters themes etc then here is your settings and your personal settings your account here is the settings all the different settings then you can see there is a sidebar here where you can see all these options for your project and then we have we can create issues from here. You can go and create more projects. You can create sprints. You can add your issues to backlog and then create a sprint and then add the issues you want to complete in that sprint. Now, don't worry. All these things, sprint, backlog, issues, all this we will learn or we will learn the terminologies and we will also learn how to use this in Jira. So as of now, the focus and the target of this session is you should be able to log into Jira, you should be having an account in Jira. And if you are using a company account, make sure that you create 
a separate account for learning for this demos and for these sessions so that you do not uh, use any of the company's accounts or resources and you do not compromise anything so it's better that for these session these learning sessions you create a separate account for jira and then the target is that you should be able to log into jira and have an account on jira so from the next session we will see the gui of jira we will see some of the features and take a gui tour of jira and then we will start creating project issues and see all the different features and all the things we can do with jira i hope this was very useful i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning